You are listening to the Namibians audio recording. The reappointment of Noah is not surprising, but it's quite disappointing, but yet not surprising to the Landless People's Movement. As we view Noah as a houseboy, a houseboy for Swapo that cleans up and puts the mess under rugs in the house of Swapo. So we are not surprised. In fact, he is one that can easily be manipulated in our view, one that is incompetent in terms of his his experience in terms of how many cases he was willing to 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 finalize to and how many people he was able to um hold accountable he has basically uh, he has basically ineffective he's not productive we are not surprised yet but paul noah has shown in the previous instance for instance if i have to give you an example of the fish rot issue on where international uh, watchdogs pointed out a direct link of the fish rot money to Swapo. This Polis Noah, Paul Noah, pardon, refused to look at this allegation seriously and claimed that Swapo is not directly linked, even though the top dogs that were caught and accused of, 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 of fish rot were um sw- part of swapo and they themselves also alleged and also did uh um did accuse swapo of being directly involved in fish rot he was incompetent he was basically useless he is basically a disgrace to the nation in terms of uh him using his service him using his position as a imperative tool to enhancing democracy to enhancing and combat pardon combating um corruption so we are not surprised but it's very disappointing in the fact that if we look in the imp- the, the the if we look at the seriousness um and the commitment that the government has in terms of uh combating corruption they this is a direct uh, insult to the nation as they are not serious in terms of handling and dealing with corruption um corruption currently if we look at the current instance if we have to deal with the economy right now we as a nation as a government need to come up with an effective covid 19 economic recovery plan which needs to look into the investments um outsourcing uh possible and potential in investors to invest in the country now a government that is not serious in combating um, corruption pardon is one that is going to directly affect the interest of investors to invest in the country which further inhibits development it further inhibits um opportunities for uh for 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 citizens for jobs for tenders and we have seen in the past corruption is the reason why many people are out young people cannot get jobs because jobs are given to comrades etc so the government fails to look at this as a pivotal tool in enhancing the development of the country the government fails and continuously protects themselves the government continuously wears a veil of 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 evil the veil of evil constantly ignoring the demands of the population if we have to look at 2019 where the the masses took out to the streets and protested against the acc and demanded for an acc reform and within this demands they require they requested that noah step down still if you look at the social media and the public response to the reappointment people are upset people do not want this man here the government still continues to undermine the democracy undermine the voice of the nation undermine the actual sovereign the sovereign the power of the country which are the people what they demand the government should give they still do not do this they're not committed in ensuring that um the acc is trans transparent the acc is effective as 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 it was in terms of of the ambitions that the government had when it was uh, in uh, policy implementation phase this is not surprising again like i said polis noah is a house boy he's a house boy for the ruling party He's easily manipulated. Um, this should be a serve as a wake up call to the nation for them to vote for change, for them to seek to look to 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 literally take out the 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 current thugs, corrupt 
uh, clientelism that is happening in the government. Um, what we're going to do as the Landless People's Movement is currently that we are looking to uh, write petitions, to have it signed, as much as we feel that, yes, it might to a certain extent not be as effective as we want it to be, the international uh, community will be watching closely as to how Namibia will be dealing with corruption and how Namibia will be, uh, how receptive is the government to the demands of the people. In terms of Noah, we're going to campaign, we're going to mobilize people to get him out of the ACC. Uh, we're going to see that we make as much noise as possible to ensure that the incompetent Paul uh, Noah get to go home because clearly his service to the country, his service to, 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 and to use his position as a pivotal tool to enhance a country is a disgrace. Therefore, Paul Noah must go.